guys, welcome back to a new session or new part. I'm still not 100% sure what I should call these. Because, eh, whatever. I'm pretty sure you guys aren't here to get me to hear me pop. So, we still have two new cases. Case 7, Ratman Return. <laughs> okay. Okay. I have no idea who Ratman is, I just saw his design because I ended up looking a bit of important main characters that would appear for me to get the images for my thumbnails and Ratman was one of them. Okay, let's see what this one is all about. The Power Mouse of Justice, Ratman, has been rescuing the sales figures of the London Times, but now he's gone missing. Interesting. I forgot she was in the daddy's costume, whatever the hell this is called. I say, it's rather exciting to be here at the London Times offices. I do enjoy it, you know. It's my favorite of all of London papers. Of the London papers. Come on, pinstripes. Newspapers are all the same. Oh no, it's not that black and white at all, Cheryl. Obviously, all papers carry the mainstream news. That's more or less the same, I grant you. But the London Times has fascinating extra articles and, an, and unusual pieces of local news. And celebrity gossip, too. And that's pretty much the part that, for some reason, most people tend to care about. Yes, I agree with you, Ernest. It's not all just boring news stories. There are a lot of other interesting things to read as well. I like it. Okay, that, that old flash is starting to get annoying. Yeah, stories like the Leviathan of London surfaced in the Thames and Shakespeare shaken up. Was William a wandering werewolf? Fascinating stuff. Honestly, that's not like makeup stuff that those gossip magazines used to do to get people to read. The article about Stonehenge being a UFO repair shop was good too, wasn't it? Yeah, sounds like a real bastion of intellect. Anyway, Pinstripes, who's asked us to investigate this time? The chief editor, Shirl. He called the office personally and, I, and asked us to come and discuss the case with him. Did you hear that, Shirl? The chief editor of the London Times. I can hardly imagine what exotic cases he might have lined up for us. Perhaps he'll want us to investigate an unidentified flying object that's been seen over the capital. Just think of it, Cheryl. I'm itching to get started. You sure that isn't fleas? Because it's not like you have this much get up and go. I kind of have to agree with her, but then again, with Cheryl, but then again, the first time they did match, she ended up asking for grandiose stuff, which I'm assuming she heard from her father, Professor Layton, about his previous cases. Well, we'll find out soon enough when we meet the man. Yes, about that, Ernest. Why exactly is this enormous building in his office? Oh, uh, um, sorry. I neglected to ask that. I see. Well, we'll just have to ask someone then, I suppose. Ah, what look? That's dog dirt over there, look. Our reporter friend. Excellent. He'll know for sure. Let's go and ask him. So, it's pretty much where we go. But first... Always check the lights for hint coins. Always check up uh, apparently very up and Thank you, that was also annoying. <laughs> oh wait. Plastic penguin. Okay, I have to ask, is that supposed to be a reference to the penguin? <coughs> 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 Sorry, I'm still recovering from a cold. But is this supposed to be a reference to the penguin from Batman? Because again, Ratman is obviously a parody of Batman. I'm sorry, that's just how it is. And the plastic penguin, it has to be a reference to the penguin, right? Which I guess makes sense considering that the penguin is the quote unquote high society villain of his. And 
the stereotype in London is everyone is high society or stuff like, or something like that. Nice. What do you have to say? Oh, he has a puzzle. Hello, hello, hello. If it isn't Miss Layton and her fr and friends. I must say, your timing is impeccable. The inspector has sent Siri fit to set me a puzzle. Ah, Mosquito, leave me alone. But I haven't got the foggiest idea in London town of how to solve it. Oh well, Constable, I'm sure I can help you out with that. Any mystery solved is my motto, as you know. Well, if you'd, if you'd be so kind as to pop on your thinking you're, at your ponder my place, I'd be much obliged, ma'am. Madam. <laughs> Document disaster. Okay. People have been putting three page documents on a desk. But a breeze has blown them all over the place. Incredible, they landed in the same order as they were stacked. Eh, yeah, okay, that is kind of incredible. There are only three sheets on the desk when I left my papers. States document. Really? Some of these are a bit forced. The picture shows the, pa the papers after they were scattered but still up according to who they belong to. So we sort of paper our dogs. Wait, what? Eventually. Okay, after a bit of pondering, my logic would be that he said there was only three, right? When he first left his papers. And that people have been stacking. So... It's the first one, this one was first, this one was first, second, third, and fourth, right? So... Hey? I've seen how to solve this now. Any mystery or any puzzle solved. Oh, I was right, nice. You did it. Phew. Better close the window the next time. Okay, so I was technically wrong, like I did the wrong formula, but I got the right answer kind of situation, good to know. Document disaster has been added to the puzzle. There, Inspector Hastings' little con conundrum is all cleared up, up for you. Sensational, madame. Simply sensational. At last, I can head back to the yard with the adult high and tell the inspector so did all my talk. I'm not sure it's a good idea for you to lie like that, but okay. What do you have to say? I just realized her name is Green Riddleton, but she hasn't like given us any puzzles or riddles. The irony. Dear me, it's got so late. I was so busy chatting with the chef assistant, I completely lost track of time. Aha! Okay, she probably is gonna have some impact later on, I have a feeling. Good evening, dog. Well, hello there, what a coincidence this is. Um, not really. The chief editor asked us to come and see. And you work here. Really? I mean, I work here, of course, but the chief editor... Chief Ed asked you, asked for you, did he? Okay, yeah, that's fair. Interesting. I never heard anything about a case of private eye had been investigating. Well, would you mind telling us where you can find him, please? Delighted to, I'm sure. Well, surprisingly, you might say the editor officer where the boss works is on the top floor. I don't really ask for you, but you know what you say, what we say here. Where there's a latent, there's a story awaiting. Okay, I can see that because, again, Professor Layton is considered one of the best puzzle solvers slash detectives in all of London, at least in this London, universe of London. He's kind of like the Sherlock Holmes of this world. I, can't, I don't even know, does Sherlock Holmes even exist in this world? And what? Not a point. The point is that he's like one of the biggest detectives on the planet, so... As she's technically Layton by name, well, it's to be expected. Yes, well, thank you. I wonder what, uh, what this is all about then. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Mm. 
Okay, okay, I think that was all. Jesus Christ, I, I searched for a split second. Oh my god, this place is a mess. Gosh, so this is where it all happens. The editorial floor of the London Times. The forefront of the news. What a big style. I kind of have to agree with sure on this one. It's a mess, Jesus Christ. This beats my messy desk hands down. Uh, I was gonna say it's not something to be proud of, but yeah, Cheryl's also right, it's not a competition, cat. I don't imagine anyone has a minute spare for tiring, they all look so busy. Well, I wonder where the chief editor is. Ah, I think that's probably him over there. I remember his face from the papers. Alright then, time to find out what sort of case he has for us. Oh, really? He's a... I thought it was gonna be one of the, the Seven Dragons. Probably not! A typewriter, Jesus Christ. I remember when I was tiny. I ended up... I went to a doctor once. I think it was the only time I had, I had seen a, a typewriter being used. It was so bizarre. Well cleared camera. That makes sense for it is. Nice. Oh, lights, obviously. And nothing. The lights betrayed me. Or have they? They have. Oh, nice. Ah, why? Mm, control sensitivity. Yeah, I had a feeling there was gonna be one here. But yeah, I think that's all. But there's still, I can't believe that the light betrayed me. You too, light. Well, let's see what you have to say. Um, excuse me, are you the chief editor? Yes, yes, that's me. Tabu... Taburus Lloyd. It took me a second to connect the name, but it's supposed to be a pun on tabloid, isn't it? Ugh. Now, to be fair, he's one of the more... well-hidden slash names that make some semblance of sense. Taboros Lloyd, at your service. How can I help you? Oh no, don't tell me. You must be from the Latent Detective Agency. Good, good. I'm glad you're here. Yes, hello, Mr. Lloyd. I'm Catriel Layton. This is my assistant, Ernest Greaves, and my stressy canine companion, Cheryl. Sir Catriel, ha ha ha. Well, your name is hot on everyone's lips at the moment, it seems. I had no idea you were such a young, beautiful woman, though. Oh yes, well, people do say that about me. That's right, kid, it's all about being modest. <laughs> and that's not all they say about you. Apparently you can solve any mystery. So I prepare a little brain teaser to test you out. Will you give it a go, will you? It's just one puzzle, say you will. Uh, it's not a question of will, it's a question of we don't have a choice. The Shape of Love. The sequel to the best-selling novel, The Shape of Love, has hit the shelves. When the book's front cover is lined up to a certain, a certain way, it represents the title of the book. Which of these fine designs is a front cover? Wait, what? Much, much, much later. I thought about a, about a... Sorry. I thought about this for a little while, and I think it's supposed to be this one, right? Because if I turned upside down, it resembles a heart, so... Mm, this should do it, I think. Puzzles are made for solving. Okay, okay. Uh, so that's what it is. If you put them on... Uh... Okay, that's like somewhat interesting. You did a line up four books at the corners from a heart pattern. Now that's the shape of love. Yeah, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. It's one of those, again, I used the wrong form formula to get to the right solution. I'm going, I'm going through life by pure luck. Jesus Christ. 
Oh yes, oh yes, 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 brilliant. I tried for three days and I should crack this one with no success. Well, all puzzles have an answer, Mr. Lloyd. Just as all mysteries have an explanation. Well, that decided. You're the one for the job. You're the one to solve the, mis the mystery for me. Are you going to explain why he asked us to come down here? Now then, Mr. Lloyd? Yes, yes, of course. Living London as you do, you must have heard his name before, I'm sure. The power of justice. Ratman! I wanna put the na 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 the old Batman thing that old Adam has a na 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 Batman, but I don't think I can if because of copyright, right? Oh, Rather? Who hasn't? Wait, Rath? Rath? What? Why? Whatever. Who hasn't heard of Ratman before? Well, that's who I want you to investigate. Case 7, Ratman Returns. Is this a part of Batman Returns? Yes, Ratman. He came into the news not that long ago, didn't he? The mysterious superhero of London. I have a feeling we're gonna have a lot of rat related puns here, aren't we? London has superheroes? Not heard at all. Oh, Ratman is spiffy. Spiffy. Spiffy, show. Simply spiffy. I'm a huge fan. You and me both. Haha. <laughs> the power of mouse of justice. Just searing that gets the blood pumping, doesn't it? How did I know those two would hit it off? Hmm, well, like I said, I've heard of Ratman, but I don't know much about him. Oh, I can tell you anything you need to know. He's a champion with his own brand of justice for all those old life criminals selling our streets. It was about a year ago that we had the first reports of his appearance. Yeah, again, look, it's clearly a, a parody of Batman. At a slight whisper for help, Ratman appears out of nowhere. Bounces the bad guys into the ground and shoots off into the night once more. Nobody knows his true identity. Because he always appears wrestles around. You know, I think I know who he is. <laughs> if he's supposed to be a parody on Batman, and the, one of the seven dragons was in the cover, I have a feeling Ratman is gonna be one of the seven dragons. Like the one that was in the cover, I don't think I can know his name. Haha! <laughs> he's a sensation, he's amazing, he's everything a superhero should be. Ratman forever! Jesus. It's a secret identity that makes him so awfully enigmatic, isn't it? So captivating, so swagger. Or well, I just try to remember he dresses a rat. The problem is, he disappeared. There have been no sightings reported for three months now. Yes, I know there have been no articles about him recently. I was wondering why, as it happens. So were we. In the air, the long times we've looked to it, believe you me. But as ever, the power mouse is shrouded in mystery. Is it supposed to be mousery? No, sorry, nobody knows where he is gone, or the reason for his disappearance. And now you'd like me to investigate? Yes, 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 exactly. Will you do it? Will you? Of course. The latent detective agency motto isn't any mystery solved for nothing, you know. Wonderful! You've practiced so it already, all that. We'll find out the reason why our beloved superhero has gone AWOL in no time. Let's not jump the gun, Tabby. Haha! <laughs> There's Caesar, perfect timing. Caesar chance. Okay, I get it. His name's supposed to be a pun on C's A chance, I think. Over there is an the owner of the publishing firm that produces all the time. He's got papers, magazines, books, anything in print you can think of. These are chances a man who pressed it. People say he's got the country's media in the palm of his hand, and he has. He's one of the so-called seven dragons as well, you know. Oh yes. Really? He's one of the dragons? Hmm. 
Perhaps I should introduce myself in that case. Oh yes, you must. Although, it's not the most jovial people, you might say. <laughs> oh, here he is. Again, I want to say this guy's probably rapping, but mind you, I could be 100% wrong. It's not the first time. Good evening, Mr. Chance. Ah, you're the private eye madame's always going on about these days, aren't you? Katria Leighton, hello. I believe you both attended the premiere of New Sub for Love at the Safe Life before. I asked that farce when the final scene of the film went missing, and that you have been involved in a number of other cases since then. The rumors abound. Anyone else hackles up yet? So, Tab, you're really going through with this private eye idea, are you? You just can't give up on Ratman, can you? I'll never give up on him. The public will never give up on him. He's the guardian of the night, the paragon of peace, the paramount of justice. I don't know what, you know what all the fuss is about. Oh, come on, Caesar. Okay, uh, so sorry guys. Okay. Go lightheaded for no apparent reason, not sure why. Okay. Oh, come on, Caesar. You're always so lukewarm about things. And you always got so hot on the collar, Tab. Haha! <laughs> well, I can see that you two are obviously more than business colleagues. Have you been friends for long? Oh, me and Caesar go all the way back to senior school. Haha! <laughs> I never imagined we'd we end up knowing each other after. As long as you have, though. As you've probably realized by now, Tab is, unique, is a unique individual. He thrives on making others happy. That's why I gave him the job here. I knew he'd, got a, he'd make a good editor, and I wasn't able to let the tables have it. Along with the news every morning, I aim to deliver a smile to the face of every one of the Tab's reader out there. I've never seen a chalk and cheese getting on so well together. Anyway, we don't want to keep you from your investigation, Catrell. They will never do. No, 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 no. Good luck finding out what all you can about Ratman. Yes, leave it to me, Mr. Lloyd. I'm sure I'll be able to find out the reason why he's no longer making appearances. But the reason why doesn't matter. The fact is, he's gone. You'll be wasting, you'll be wasting your time, Mr. Lloyd. How can you say that, Caesar? Venom is a paramount of justice, he and always will be. He'll be back, you'll see. Fine, if that's what you want to believe, be my guest. Investigate till you're blue in the face. As long as the sales don't drop, that's all I'm worried about. Well, I would like to ask you about both of a few more questions if you can spare the time. Of course, I'll tell you anything you want to know about I uh, know. About Redman, about London Times, about the shoe size. If you believe in that kind of that kind of, of thing, well, Tab might have the time for none. Yeah, sorry. Well, Tab might have the time for that nonsense, but I don't. Oh, come on, Caesar. You can spare a little few minutes, surely. Let's see what you have to say. Would you mind telling us what you know about Ratman, Mr. Chance? All right, nothing. Yes, I'm definitely getting the impression that you're not one of Ratman's biggest fans. Obvious Ratman was a big deal for Wanda. It was only the paper we featured him in. We did exclusive features in some of our, magaz in, uh, some of our magazines as well. Ratman's flavor of the month, and I'm grateful for what he's done for us. But people will get bored of him. If it's all Ratman, Ratman, and Ratman, he loses appeal. Oh yes, I know exactly what you mean. You can't, eat, you can't eat the same meal every day, no matter how delicious it is. Okay, I can somewhat see where this is going. I kind of agree. And that's kind of like the reason why those things with Batman keeps escalating and escalating. Because if you just see Batman beating up crooks in the street, well, it's not going to get interesting. It's going to get boring eventually. We should forget Redpen. We should be looking for new news, not old news. Seriously, Tab, how long are you going to keep pursuing this child superhero nonsense? Caesar, Ratman is a nonsense. He's hip. He's cool. He's wicked. He's sick. Ah, <sighs> even sounds like a child. You're not kids. We're not kids anymore, Tab. Well, for heaven's sake, we're parents. Parents can sip into superheroes. I mean, he's not wrong. Just look at all. 
more of pop culture nowadays. A lot of the people who ended up growing as superheroes are now parents themselves. They still love superheroes. In fact, parents need superheroes more than anyone. They just aren't enough hours in the day. They really are the larger heads over this, aren't they? They've clearly been friends for a long time, though. I'm sure most of it is just banter. So... They're both parents, so he's probably married with a wife and his kids. And so is he, or they're both, like, a couple. Not 100% sure, but I want to say that each one is married to a wife. Because, you know, Nintendo and, well, you know, they are. They're like Disney, but not as bad. So, Mr. Lloyd, you've asked us to find out why Ratman seems to have disappeared. That's presumably because you idolize him and you want your superhero champion back. Well, yes, yes, of course. I mean, I am a diehard Ratman fan, I'm a mighty idiot, but there's more to it than that. Oh, in what way? Well, Ratman articles proved very poor in the long times. Whenever you feature a story about him, the copy just flew off the shelves. So Ratman's appearance affected sales, you mean? See for yourself, no, it's not all roses, is it? So it's true that Ratman actually do have an impact on business, yes. But the other thing is safety on the streets. According to our reporters, since Ratman disappeared, crimes up on the on the app. I see. It sounds like a double-edged sword, doesn't it? It's not the paper sales so much as the people own in safety. Read Ratman on the streets. He must know why. He must know that. I, I just don't understand why he's not showing himself. Hmm. I didn't realize Ratman has such an impact on paper sales. Okay, so the clue metal thing, the clue piece is the shape of Batman. Okay, that's kind of nice. <clears throat> well, thank you, Mr. Lloyd and Mr. Chance, for your time. Yeah, I think we should take ourselves out to the streets now that start asking questions there. So if you'll excuse us, we'll push on with our investigation. Yes, yes, Brind. Go and do what you do, detective. Answer the Ratman riddle. Mm. Waste your time if you want. You won't learn anything. 